Hi again everyone, this is a quick little look at the model for the throttle handle. So, crudely, this is what it looks like. Here we have a throttle handle that will move forwards and back. And that's how the throttle works. Inside here there's a, the pots hidden there. I mean, it's not very well modelled, but this is the speed controller module. There's the microcontroller, the Arduino board. And that's all you can really see on the outside. So we'll delve a bit closer into it and see what it's really all made out of. So if we start in the middle, why not? So we'll just hide. Uh, we can leave that. We'll hide this. No, we should hide this other side. Here you can see most of the inner workings. So I'll start on the top, throttle handle. 3D printed. Um, that goes onto a 19 millimeter shaft, which is about three quarter inch or so. And that shaft then goes into this T piece. So if we open that, you can see here this is the T piece. So the 19 mil shaft goes in here. This is the rotational axis. So that has a 8mm shaft that goes through there, that then goes inside some 8mm bearings, and in here we have a couple other holes which are slightly smaller um, that operate the end stops. So in here you can see there are, there are the smaller shafts, they go through and they run through these grooves and they operate the micro switches in here. Here you can see the model there is a that's the closed position and the open position. So whenever you get to the end, it pushes that micro switch or the other way, the other one, which is hidden or disappeared. Then there are on the other shaft that runs through the main bit here. We'll just hide this. There's another shaft that runs through here, which the bearing runs out on. This is actually two inside each other. So the inner one is the same size as this, which fits snugly inside this eight millimeter OD shaft. And that actually fits the pot shaft perfectly. So that all works together reasonably well. Then the pot just goes, gets put into the end of the shaft and has a little cover over it that just stops it from turning and gets bolted into the, this main plate here. This main plate has some threaded inserts, the, the, the thermal set threaded inserts you get from McMaster Car or AliExpress or eBay. You can just put them in with a soldering iron and you can just nicely put a bolt in and hold everything in place. So that's how the pot works. Then this main plate here on the top also has some heat set inserts and that's how you mount it. It has this nice cover that goes on the top and the idea is in between here there's a quarter inch gap, six millimeter gap that you can mount this unit on so you just you put this in, you put some plywood in between here, cut the right shape hole and everything mounts and works well. When the throttle hits the end stop, which I haven't modeled particularly greatly in here. It will also hit the stop here at the same time. So it's so not only do the, these tubes hit the end stops to stop you from moving, um, it also hits this plastic over here with the 19 mil tube. It has this other plastic piece in here, 3D printed again piece, so that you can't look inside the module, it keeps it nice and clear, nice and clean looking. And that all fits quite well and it just clears the Arduino board. It looks pretty close here, but we've actually gone past its end point. So it does actually steer clear of it reasonably well. The motor controller clips in. There are a few holes in here that you can slide some nuts into and just put a little bolt through there, just a little M3, and holds everything in place. And that's on both sides. 
and that's really nearly it actually we have one more thing and that is this part here this part here just grips onto the shaft and gives it a little bit more friction so that way the the forward and reverse it, it sticks nicely wherever you let go of the throttle handle if that is not enough you can actually put a little bulldog clip on the end of this and give it a bit more pressure and if that's still not enough you just add a, some wedges in between and make sure that it puts even more pressure on but I found it pretty good with just this printed piece uh, the bulldog clip makes it just that much better again and it works reasonably well the Arduino board just slots into some holes over here on the plastic, not a big deal. And that's really, that's really it. Um, so you print out all the pieces, put in the top inserts, the side three, and on the other side there's three again. But you really can get away with only putting in one if you feel like it, because you only really use this one. And that's it. These. These switches just go on and they stay in place reasonably well. I've secured them with a bit of hot glue. Works perfect. The bearings just press fit in place. Also seems to work fairly well. We'll open this part, uh, this one, and show you this on its own. This is the main plate. So that's where the micro switches press into. And here are just some cutouts for the speed controller because it was just a little bit too wide, it didn't fit quite right. Could have made the whole setup a bit wider to take care of it, but putting mounting the speed controller on the bottom of this was an afterthought, so that's kind of why they need to have a couple of cutouts. But that's it, so the bearing will fit in here nicely, it's got a stop on the end so you don't press it through too far. And that's it works relatively well. Now if you have any more questions then let me know what you need. I'll upload the STL files of these onto Thingiverse most likely. Most likely I'll leave a link in the description where you can download them, print them yourself, make one of these, see if you like it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section. Quite like to read them. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, all of those things help get some other people to watch my videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day. See you later.